the time of making love on a bed of chaos. The holy twins are on this boat, all of them, including the magical star sister and her brother and beloved, the spirit of the human being. The magical star sister then looked into the eyes of the spirit of the human being and they knew they would have forever to do this thing that human beings later said was a useless act of who the hell knows what. But this act of looking into each other's eyes was so beautiful to this love-struck pair that they would have gladly and willingly and eagerly spent every possible eternity to do only this one thing, to do it forever. And they looked into each other's eyes, these two, queen, star, and king spirit, and they knew they would forever have a reason to sing the love song. The human spirit knew that he could not become king without the magical star queen, and so, after they exchanged pieces of their hearts, the human spirit laid the magical star queen down on the bed of Lord Trickster Croc, and they came together. The once been one, who became the twin loving and longing two, who now created a new thing to connect them, and so became a three. And that is when the first love was ever made, on top of the bed of Lord Trickster Crocodile, for sure. Because love is always made lightly and joyfully on the bed of chaos, and their love molded the chaos of feeling between them, their love molded the chaos, and now the human spirit could become king. Not because he had loved a woman, not because he had loved his sister, not because some ritual requirement had been fulfilled, but because he had learned to love and respect a woman, to love and respect all women. Take heed, bureaucrats of all holy and unholy stripes, the divine cares not for formula without effect. And the two of them never stopped singing, no matter how much the tricky trappy croc lashed his tongue and his tail in an effort to keep the chaos going. The mill creaks and turns and the treacherous tail of Lord Trickster Crocodile lashes the roots of the tree of life. You don't become a god until somebody falls in love with you. And so the human spirit was slowly shaped into a god under the tender gaze of the magical star queen, the tips of her fingers kissing the tongues of the mouths of the tips of his fingers, and their dancing hands became as the plumage of feathers of wings of birds, and the magic sun of the magical star queen's heart glowed with fire, and the human spirit, he became more than God then, as her heart grew and grew and grew. The human spirit became more than God. He became something far, far more epic, more unusual. The human spirit became good. What is the nature of a good man? This is a man who is beyond being God. The spirit of the human being. Call him Osiris, call him Orion, call him the Christ. Whatever you call him, the truth is this. He was killed by his jealous brother and resurrected by a clever and loving witch woman. Whatever you say about him, the truth is this. He fell from the sky, kissing his star queen, and became encased in a body that turned from coffin to eternal bliss. So now the human spirit... He could become king. And the stars of the sky goddess smiled down upon him, and his fire was lit. And the smile of the earth, the lover of night sky, he held his love in an embrace. And the grandmother and grandfather chortled and said, like this they said, 
It is in how you treat the ancestors that your own spirit is fed.